near side. A bit of space for them. And I tell you what, an absolute carpet to play on tonight. I was out on the field before the game. It's beautiful. That's nicely worked out to the far side. Maybe a bit of space here for Pittsburgh. Hackshaw has to dig in to win a free kick for formerly of and perhaps Pittsburgh can counterattack here. Hell Stadium. Charleston back at home after a couple of weeks on the road. Of course, the stadium hosted a massive music festival to that goal side. Bisu, away. <laughs> Little one-two at the top of the, the centre half. Campbell there getting a tackle in, nicely done. Into the chest of Marini, whose touch let him down, and Pittsburgh have it back at the halfway line. Tackle. Portillo dispossessed by Kerr, and now here's a good-looking ball in on the and spend the afternoon sampling it. Good header on there from Pittsburgh. And another good flick on Griffith. And he's in a bit of trouble here, is he? Yes! Goal! Hackshaw. Loses out in the tackle. Good tackle, that from Bisu. Hackshaw's back at him. That's a foul, surely. Yeah, the ref's taking his eye off that one. It was a push from the, from the forward. And Woodbine just dropped off to sleep for a second, but... Ferguson is back now, goal side, as Pittsburgh in these games. Many times, Stephen, the Pittsburgh Riverhounds, it always feels like we get them early in the season. It usually ends in a draw, to be honest. Yeah. Not many goals in the fixtures over the years. And here at, in Charleston, at least, at MUSC Health. Bisu, Kerr, the skipper, the veteran, into Bisu. And Pittsburgh on the counterattack. Parks, into the gap. It's a good ball. Herzog will run all day. Griffith is back to defend, but it's a throw-in for the Riverhounds. He can bring it clear. He's got to put that on his right peg and have a go. 20 right. minutes to play at MUSC Health Stadium. 1-1 the score. This game is poised. Pittsburgh want to make another change. As well, if we have a man of the match, i, I got to go with Canardo Forbes up to this point. Yeah, I mean, Fanon is about he's on the right side. Uh, Turgu is like on, on, on the left side. Smith, League Soccer, with a couple other USL teams, Sacramento. I mean, he was, uh, he was clear. If, uh, just all he had to do get a uh, touch on that ball, and he's in, and he have a, he's in goal. You have an opportunity to. Smith, Bishu. Chipped forward by Kerr. Picked up by the Riverhounds. Okai. Bishu. Looking for any sort of opening. Seen. He has worked hard tonight. Stephen Dos Santos. Took a little bit of time left to see if the Riverhounds can. Picked up by Morell. Across the field to Kerr. In place of An Anatola Bong or Brandon Allen, who's done it for most of September. But, I mean, you talk about opportunities to go and play. Opportunities to go and play in front of sold-out stadiums. Campbell now, who took a knock in the late in the first half, but seems to be okay to continue. Be getting an opportunity to get a little bit of a professional career. Where he put up 10 goals and 9 assists last year. So. Is there anything you'd like to say to the Kerrs who are clearly awake at what I'm sure must be 5.30 in the morning? Well, you know, Choi, the fourth official, Luis Arroyo. So if you want to take up your complaints, it can be with one of them. It's right. Action all the time. They stay ready. They stay confident. They stay engaged. But when you have these long periods without having to make big plays, I feel like it's an even bigger challenge, right? Stay engaged in the game so when...
securing it. That was Sergio Campbell getting a boot to it. Yeah. Like that. Two-man oh. wall. Good ball to the back post. The header. Roberts punches it over the bar. <laughs> Terrific save by Roberts on a bouncing yeah. ball. I, I mean, that ball was... Uh, I mean... What will the Hounds try here as we get a glance at the replay? Campbell was going up. It's an outswinger. Kerr can't corral it. Oh. Lebo, 2 more. Streak two, you know. Oh, offside uh, here, <laughs> just barely. Beautiful ball by Lebo Meloto. And yeah, you uh, had that go-to guy that you, you that are hard to find, yeah. you know, and. He did very well, though, Gino, of holding up the ball, creating yeah. some things. And then when he did get it and he could turn on players, he was very quick and went at the goal. And that's how he got, three, you know, five of his goals. On these counters, you were lining up, maybe looking to take this cross field ball. No, Kerr will push it out wide to James Bissu. That's a good right cross. Right back towards the middle. It's loose in the six-yard.